You are uh, you're a Muslim? Africa. Oh. Yeah. All right, you're a Muslim. Everybody here is a Muslim. Uh, why are you a Muslim, man? Uh, why are you a Muslim, man? Uh, why are you a Muslim, man? I'm Muslim because the concept of God is simple. It makes sense. A four-year-old can understand it. You don't yes. need a PhD to understand the concept of God. And okay. mm -hmm. if God send a message to us, the message has to make sense to our brain. It cannot mm -hmm. be a trinity, which nobody can understand. So you, you believe of, that Tawheed makes sense to you? The concept of God and Islam, Tawheed, it makes sense to you? Of course it makes sense. You could use an analogy to uh, explain the Tawheed of Allah, mm -hmm. but so you, when you it comes to when, wait, let me answer. When it comes to the well, trinity, you cannot even use a uh, analogy to explain the Trinity. Okay. I like that. Like, okay. I like that. Like, it's like uh, mm -hmm. uh, three per, three person in one being. Sure. Uh, you, you're basically saying the same thing. A person okay. is a being. It's like saying three died in one father. Okay. Give me an example where a person is not a being. I'm okay. Waiting. Can I answer you, or you're going to talk over us? Okay, according to your Quran, is Allah unlike anything in creation? Boom! No, boom! No, boom! No, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna use your words to bury you, but just be patient. According to your Quran, is Allah unlike anything in creation? It says, Yes, yeah, so there's none like him. But you yeah. just said, for Allah to be only one God, he has to be one person. Because you can't be more than one person, one being, and you then compare them to creation. So you just committed shirk, ya kafir. Is that like the best you have? Is that like the best you have? Is that like the best you have? Okay. I like that. Like, eh? Of course you like that. One God, one powerful, one will created everything doesn't share his divinity with another person nor another being he begets not neither is he born but the problem with incarnation is you believe God is infinite with infinity, you cannot take away or add anything. But you believe God in his eternal power, almighty, could not fix the problem of sin or original sin or human being sinning. So he had to humble himself, become weak, and do something he wasn't able to do while he was all powerful. It's like saying Elon Musk with all his money could not pay for his wife's medical bill. So he got to go broke, lose all his money to be able to pay for his wife's medical bill. How is the logic logical? Tell me. 